morning and welcome to day three of Vlogtober. Can you believe that it is day three already? It just seems to be racing past. Um, I uh, It's about 20 to 11 in the morning. I don't know where the morning has gone. Done the school run, done the load of laundry, done the grocery shopping. I've been getting some pins ready um, so they're all good to go for when orders come in. Um, I've done a load of paperwork. I've got to run the hoover around and clean the kitchen. But first, I am going to pop on some Vlogtobers. And Mia, who is the cat from next door, who comes in here all the time and thinks she's our cat, is sitting on top of the covered barbecue outside the back door looking at me. It's a little pocket of sunshine out there. It's obviously quite warm. <sighs> she's looking at me like, why? Why, have you, why are you not letting me in? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm starving, so I'm going to make myself a healthy snack because I need to be a bit healthier. And I'm gonna make myself a smoothie from this book, this one here. And I'll show you what I'm gonna make. I know it says juice, but this recipe that I'm gonna make is actually for a smoothie. So I'll show you what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have this one, except i am not got any strawberries. So I'm gonna put in two handfuls of raspberries um, I haven't got soya milk, so I'm just going to use normal soya milk. I'm going to decrease the muesli slightly. Actually, I'm going to half the whole recipe because this is a lot. So I'm going to use one handful of raspberries, half of the yogurt, probably about the same amount of milk because otherwise it comes out a bit too um, thick to drink and then half the muesli. Um, I haven't got any ice, so I'm not going to bother with that. And that's when I'm going to have my healthy breakfast stroke snack. I'm sewing are as gifts for people that I think might be watching, so gonna keep it as a surprise. Um, I would love sewing if I had more bloody time. Um, oh, so, sorry, language. <laughs> um, I think if I had more time, I would really enjoy sewing, but as it is, I have very little time, and I've already spent two hours doing this, which will probably take an experienced sewer about 15 minutes because I sewed the um, two pieces of fabric together the wrong way five times. So frustrating and it just feels like such a faff when that happens. Anyway, I think I'm back on track now. And I'm gonna crack on with it. It is now five past one and I've got to go and get Phoebe in about an hour and a half and I don't know where the day has gone and I've still not hoovered. Wouldn't it be nice if we had all the time in the world to do the things we needed to do? I've just remembered I've also got to go and empty the washing machine. I live in quite a small house. Um, well, the rooms are quite big, but on the whole, it's not a massive house. But we have this. There's a door here, and I'm going to show you my cupboard of doom. Da, da, da. It is huge. There is, so, I can't believe I'm showing you this, but it's quite handy because it's got all these shelves. So there's my, my blender that I've had for about a bajillion years. And that's my stock of pins. That's where they live. I've got baking stuff there. And this is all the household filing. And then we've got other pin related stuff here, which is open. You can see, but do not squash. Nan's not allowed to put anything on top of it. And then that there is my face painting kit. I used to do face painting professionally. I don't anymore, I just help at school fairs. It has to live somewhere. And then you go right back down there is our camping stuff, which given that we sold the tent four years ago, <laughs> we should probably <laughs> sort out. I've got a load of um, dyeing stuff back there as well. And then there's a load of crafty bits and bobs. And I kind of clear this cupboard out and tidy it every six months or so. And it looks amazing and I feel great. And then it just becomes a dumping ground again. Although to be fair, it's not too bad. 
That's a scanner down there as well. Yeah, so that's our cupboard. That's where it all hides. And that is where the Hoover go. Voila. Turn the light out, close the door. And when people come over last minute, we gather all the mess up from around the house and shove it in the cupboard. We're going home for a nice hot bath. Yeah. <laughs> just getting busy. People park us all up on the yellow lines. Okay, we're filming on the reverse camera, so the quality is not gonna be as good. <laughs> so this one can see what we're doing. We wanted to show you something that I got in the post. So um, a lovely lady called Lynn has donated a prize for the Strictly Sock Along, and it's for one of the Halloween prizes. So do you wanna hold up the Halloween one? This is the Halloween. Look at that Halloween fabric. And show close up the tag. Let's turn it round. So it says handmade with love by Lynn. There you go. And there's a little um, oh, stitch marker on it. <laughs> and I'll show you how it works on my one so that I don't scrunch this one up. So we show them the inside. Cats. <laughs> Black cats! <laughs> so that is the Halloween prize that's been donated by Lynn for the Strictly Sock Along. So I'm going to get that up on the prizes thread when I get I back like together. One. And she sent one for me with fabric that she thought I might like because it's yellow. But I like cactuses too. Hmm, I wonder what In fact, there's a little be. crochet cactus here, isn't there? A little crochet cactus. <laughs> and there's another one up there. Right, so this is my Where? one. Where is it, Mummy? That one with the flower. And it's the same size, and I've got my little tag as well. And I'm just gonna show you what it's got on it. It's really roomy. I'm gonna fit a lot of knitting in here. What shall I make you that I can put in here? Let's see, a dress for Coco. A dress for Coco, your rabbit. And yeah. a hoodie for Freddy. And a hip hoodie for Freddy, the fox. Right, so it's a drawstring bag, but look, it's got the red handles on it, so you can carry it about. That is genius. I've never seen that before. Um, you know, you know, on the Halloween one, if it had handles, it would look like a pumpkin. It does it. have handles. Does it? Yeah, this one's got handles too. Then it's Spotty a ones. Pump, pumpkin bucket. So. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Lynn. That was so generous of you to sh send me one as well. Oh, and I've got to show you the inside. So it's this beautiful spotty rose fabric. The fabrics are just lovely. And I love the contrast of them. They're really, really beautiful. I'm going to flip the camera around to show you properly as well, because filming this way, it's not as good. The, the picture's not as good. But Phoebe, we got something for you and Lilia from Lynn as well, didn't we? Yes, we did. Right, who shall we show first? Lynn. Lilia's. So, Lynn also sent me and Lilia something. So this is Lilia's one. It's a grey fabric with llamas. How cute is that? And Lilia, she loves llamas, doesn't she? And also, we didn't have a tag, did we? Yeah, you've got little tags. I put them inside the bag after you open them. Okay, so we did get tags. That's upside down. Is it? Because that says for Lilia. For Lilia. Yeah, so I just pop them in there to keep. And them. we also. You've got toggles on yours. Have charms as well. Charms, and theirs have got little toggle toggle drawstrings, like that. And there's also really nice fabrics. Inside, you need to talk up so people can hear. That's the inside. fabric on the inside of Lilia's one. So she's thrilled to bits with that. And you're thrilled with your one, aren't you? You're going to show your one. It's purple! Purple is your favourite colour, isn't it? And those are my charms. You've got little charms on there. And I also have these things. Drawstring. But you, you don't do it. And I needed new project bags. You do need new project bags. Are you going to show the lining as well? And then, Cause it's got as I said, my favourite colour is purple. Purple. Yay! Polka dot. So you were through it, and I said you weren't allowed it until I'd showed it to everyone, didn't I? So, because Phoebe likes knitting, so she's going to keep her knitting in it. 
So I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a good close up of it. Phoebe's not feeling too great, are you? She had a very muddy obstacle course at school. And I think she's a bit cold That's and a bit, why my I think she might have eaten wet. some mud. So she's had a nice hot bath and a hot chocolate. And I had a hot chocolate too. And now we're gonna do a bit of art and crafts. No. Okay. Phoebe wants to show you what I've been sewing this afternoon, but as it's a surprise for someone who might watch, I don't think we should show them. So say bye bye for now. Bye bye. <laughs>